Welcome to the fascinating world of anthills. In the remotest corners of our planet, invisible architects erect wonders. In the heart of forests, Formica rufa ants construct dome-shaped anthills. Starting from a stump or a fallen log, they bring materials to facilitate a rapid warming of the dome oriented towards the sun. These structures shelter thousands of devoted workers. Within them, they raise their offspring, cultivate fungal gardens and fiercely defend their territory against intruders. However, their visibility is also their vulnerability. Other ant raids, human disturbances and predatory birds can endanger these cities. Certain ant species construct earth, gravel and sand domes. These structures accumulate near the entrance over time. Occasionally, small earth domes are intentionally erected to warm the brood. The ants that guard the nest often rest on blades of grass resembling watchful sentinels. Deep within the earth, tiny masons toil tirelessly. Workers transport soil, bringing it to the surface to shape their nests. Most ant species establish their anthills underground. Being underground allows them to escape most predators. Within the anthill, life hums, invisible to the world above. Their antenna probe detecting every nook and following pheromones that guide their way. They arrange food stores meticulously. Nothing is left to chance. They know the precise temperature at which food must be kept and the optimal humidity level. As a result, ants can control fermentation or avoid it when necessary. Ants harness the warmth stored by the soil. They optimize every space, placing their brood in these warm chambers hidden from view. This allows the queen to lay eggs under optimal temperature and humidity conditions. Beyond these marvels of masonry, some ant species choose an entirely different type of habitat to establish their nests. One could say they use organic matter to create their anthills. Fungus farming ants live directly within the fungus they cultivate. They dig immense networks of galleries and chambers. The tunnels they build form a complicated maze you would get lost in. Some dedicated to ventilation, others to traffic. These ants transport branches, leaves or fruits, using them to nourish and grow the fungus. The fungus serves as both food and nest for the ants. It's the leaf-cutting ants that exhibit this behavior. They are found from Central to South America. Some ants prefer to establish their nest in special plants. These ants are known as myrmecophytes. Plants like Tillandsia and Acacias possess cavities where ants organize their anthills. This represents a secret symbiosis between plant and insect. Occasionally, ant species settle in old wooden structures or decaying trees. They dig their galleries, preserving their privacy. Unlike myrmecophytes, these ants do not rely on living plants but optimize whatever materials they can find. In the trees of South Asia or Central Africa, the weaver ants, also known as green ants, weave nests by binding leaves together. The silk they use is produced by their larvae. Species such as Ecophila are masters of this craft. They protect plants from parasites and live in symbiosis with the plant. What sets them apart from other myrmecophytes are their truly remarkable architectural creations. The same holds true for the Polyrachis divis ants, Originating from Asia and Oceania, they create nests using a material that consists of a mixture of wood fragments and mucus produced by their cephalic glands. Ants are far more than mere insects. They are builders, cultivators and explorers. Their anthills, which are marvelous structures, invite us to uncover their secrets.